Hi there, and welcome to our latest look at the classic Greek constellations. Today we're going to look at Lupus, the wolf, one of the lesser known of the classic constellations, because generally it lies in the southern hemisphere, or in the tropics, between Centaurus and Scorpius. So you don't really see it that often from the northern hemisphere, or certainly from latitudes such as the United Kingdom. It has no formally named stars, and very few deep sky objects, so we won't be here for very long to this time. Alpha Lupi is the brightest star with an apparent magnitude of 2.30, about 460 light years away. Beta Lupi, the second brightest, has an apparent magnitude of 2.68 and is 383 light years from Earth. Gamma Lupi, a blue-white subgiant, is the third brightest star with an apparent magnitude of 2.77, 420 light years distant. Delta Lupi, another blue-white subgiant with a magnitude of 3.22, approximately 900 light years distant. Supernova 1006, a historic supernova seen between the 30th of April and the 1st of May in the year 1006 CE in the constellation of Lupus by observers across the planet. Occurring at a distance of 7,200 light years from Earth, it was the brightest stellar event ever documented. Believed to have been a Type 1a supernova, it recorded a visual magnitude of minus 7.5. The Egyptian astronomer Ali bin Ridwan described it as a large circular body, two and a quarter to three times as large as Venus. Shining because of its light, the intensity was a little more than a quarter that of moonlight. The supernova remnant from this explosion uh, was identified in 1965 near the uh, star of Beta Lupi. No companions of the progenitor star were found, which suggests that the supernova had a double degenerate progenitor and was probably the result of two white dwarf stars merging. Uh, deep sky objects as well, we have the Retina Nebula, IC4406, a planetary nebula near the constellation's western border, 2,000 uh, light years distant from us. It's a bipolar nebula seen from the side, uh, its left and right sides seeming symmetrical, which is typical of planetary nebulas. If we saw it from above, it would look like the Ring Nebula. Well, that brings us to the end of our little look at Lupus the Wolf. Not one of the most outstanding constellations, but an interesting one nevertheless. Dark skies, stay safe, take care, and speak to you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.